guys, I have a really good core workout for you today. It's an ab burner for sure. You don't need any equipment, just your mat. And I'm outside, so you'll hear some birds and hopefully my dog doesn't start barking. We're gonna start with a long lever plank. We're gonna start with a bang, because that one's, um, I think, one of the most difficult planks, at least for me. If you have low back issues, I'm gonna show you how you can do it without hurting your back, but if you have low back issues, you're gonna probably wanna just stay in a plank. So I'm gonna show you this first exercise and we'll move on from that. You're gonna start in that plank position. Again, like I said, if you have low back issues, just stay in this, in this plank position, keeping your core nice and tight. But if you wanna challenge, see how my shoulders are over my elbows? I'm going to take a step back. Now my eyes are at my elbows. The key to this is, as soon as I step back, I'm gonna squeeze those glutes and tuck my hips up in. Um, I wanna think about bringing my hips kind of like this. That will alleviate my back from hyperextending. You don't want it to hyperextend. If at any point during it, you feel it hyperextending, just step back up into that plank. If you feel strong again, you can step back and reset and tuck those, glute, or tuck those hips in, squeeze those glutes. All right, we are going to get ready and start right away. So remember, you're gonna get down in that plank and we're gonna step it out. We've got 12 exercises here. Three, two, one. In that plank, take a step back, and now I'm squeezing those glutes. This is a tough one. Just make sure you're squeezing those glutes. You don't want your back to hyperextend. This is, um, I think this is one of the hardest planks, so you are conquering it right here. Great job. Squeeze that core. Keep everything tight, tight, tight. Really think about keeping um, that back protected. If you feel it in your low back, step forward. You got it, you got it, you're doing awesome. You're almost there. Almost there. Two, one, break. You're gonna come up. The next one we have, my feet are gonna be on the ground. I have those arms in front of me. My back's gonna stay straight. I'm gonna lean back as far as I can and I'm touching back behind. Key to this one is a straight back. The minute I hunch, it takes some of the pressure off. So, one and start. Feet are in front. Back straight, lean back, and I'm touching back behind. Reach out to the other side. Straight back, straight back, straight back. That's the key. Nice job. This is slow and controlled. Slow and controlled. He is, make sure that back is straight. If you're not feeling anything, ask yourself, am I hunching my back? Am I curling my back? I need that back straight. If you need to come up here, so you can keep your back straight, that's totally fine. Find a spot that's challenging for you. It's your workout. Break. We're gonna go down to the ground. You're reaching out and you're coming up and you're touching opposite hand, opposite foot. If you can challenge yourself, you're gonna keep your legs and your arms up. If not, you're gonna have those legs down and just come up and touch the inside, okay? You get 20 second break in between these. One, and start reaching out, come up and touch. I have to say, this is a runner's crunch. I have to say, this is one of the more challenging ones, I think, for sure. Remember, drop those feet if you need to. Opposite hand, opposite leg. My neighbors are moving. You can hear them, I'm sure. <laughs> Good job. We're gonna get a break with our core after this. We're gonna go to bird dogs. So just think, in just a couple seconds, you get to roll over. Good job, you got it. Three, two, one. Rest. I'm gonna roll over. If you're not familiar, bird dog, I keep that shoulder over my wrist, come together, my palms facing towards the inside in that neutral position, straight out. We're gonna do one side halfway and switch it halfway. All right, just try to think about um, two, one, start, try to think about a pause at the top. Nice straight lines, try to keep that balance. This is really good for low back. Good job. If you can't remember, switch, switch sides. Look straight down at your hands so that you don't, um, add more tension to your upper back and your neck. Looking in front of you adds that tension. Nice 
this jab. Two, one. We're gonna come over. My feet are on the ground. I'm gonna lift up in a crunch. The key to lifting in the crunch is to lift with your shoulders. I think about my shoulders coming up, not my neck. How I know is if I drop my neck back, my head or my shoulders don't move. If I lift with my head, Three, my shoulders two, move around. One. So let's Exercise lift up and we're gonna pause here. Hold your arms out here. You can hold your arms here, but we're staying here for half of it. Then after that, we'll do our crunches. So just stay, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You're really squeezing those abs. That's the key. Make sure you're squeezing. You should be feeling it already halfway. So now we're just going to do regular crunches. And you're just coming up enough that you feel that um, core engaged. But you're not lifting with your neck. I'm thinking shoulders. Two, one. Break. We're going to lay on our side. I'm going to, I'm laying on my left side with my left arm out in front of me. I'm going to open up, let that arm come entirely behind me. I actually kind of tap it and bring it together, crunch in the center and back out. We're going to do a side crunch. Two, one, start. So open all the way up, come all the way together, all the way up, all the way together. If that's bothering you, just keep those legs stationary. Okay. All the way up. All the way together. Great job. Feel the burn. You're getting stronger with each one. Halfway. If you can pick up the pace, try to go a little faster. Nice job. My pup's looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> Good job. Almost there. Let's break. Go to the other side. So take your time, do slow and control first half, and then we'll try to pick up the pace a little bit second half. It takes one or two to kind of get yourself positioned. Remember, always keep your legs here if you're feeling it too much and just crunch together. Two, one, reaching out and come together. Out, together. On that side, nice and controlled. After this, we get to roll over on our stomach again. So your abs will get a little bit of a break halfway. So we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Nice job. Get that breathing going. Good job. Try to remember to open up in the back. Two, one, break. We're gonna go over onto your stomach. And we're gonna do, it's like a Superman. You're gonna raise up, but you're gonna take those arms and legs out and together, okay? We're gonna try to keep those arms and legs up. If you need to come down, you can come down with your arm um, legs. So, exercise. Sweeping up, out, together, out, together. This is just really strengthening up those glutes and that low back upper back as well. Try to remember to look at the ground. If I'm looking up ahead of me, that puts that tension in that upper back and that neck. Good job. Try to get as far out as you can on that X. I know I'm kicking my dog, so I'm not going super far. <laughs> All right, we're gonna roll over. This is one of my favorites. This one, this one gets me. My elbows are gonna be pushed into my knees. I'm gonna try to push those in as much as I can. If you're feeling strong and you want more of a challenge, you pull those knees and feet together and you're gonna do a slight rock. And start. So knees and elbows, pull those knees together. If you can, you're gonna rock. Now here's the key. Do not let the knees and the elbows come apart. If you feel them coming apart, just go stationary. Because the key is your core has to be really pulled tight to keep those elbows and your knees together. Nice job. Feel the burn, embrace it. Almost there. 
break and rest. We're gonna go to a high plank. We're gonna be up in that high plank, shoulder over wrist, and I'm gonna bring that knee to that elbow. I'm gonna pause there until I say switch. I'll tell you, we're gonna keep it there for three seconds. If you can't get your knee to your elbow, just pull it up. One, and start. Knee to elbow, switch. 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 It's a hot one out here today. Switch. Switch. If it's too much of a challenge, you can always hold the plank. Switch. Switch. Break. All right, dead bug. This is really, really good for, for overall total core strength, especially low back. Arms and legs are straight up. I'm going to drop opposite arm and opposite leg. So my right arm's going to go out. My left leg's going to go out. I'm going to try to keep that, that other arm. Ready? Three, two, one. Start. I'm going to try to keep that other arm and leg stationary. What happens is a lot of times people move those legs and arms when they move the other one. Try to keep these, this hand, this knee stationary as you're doing it. This is almost like patting your stomach, or no, rubbing your stomach and patting your head. This is a little bit of like a <laughs> mind-body connection. I know. Nice job. Right? Okay, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna lay this way so you can see. I'm pulling my feet straight up. This is your last one too. And I'm gonna do a, um, make my hands like an arrow or like a pistol. I'm gonna reach up in the center and off to the side. I'm gonna go center, side, center, side. What I want you to really think about is that reach up to the center and off to the side. You wanna really pause on that reach up and try to get up as close as you can to your toes. That's where the magic happens. We're gonna do that for halfway, then we'll switch to the other side at halfway. And then you're completely done, all right? So, get ready. Three, two, one. Reach up and really pause and try to get as close as you can. Really think about close, close, close. You should be feeling that on your side. Switch to the other side now. You only have 20 seconds left. Almost there. Great job. Real quick, let's just lay straight out. Let's stretch out those abs real quick. Now we're going to sit with our feet off to the side. Grab your shins and reach across. That should be a nice stretch down that side. Let's pause here for a second. You guys did great. Your abs should be burning. I'm going to take that elbow and pull it to the back. Now I feel it down in here. And we're gonna switch sides. Grab those shins, reach across. Right, stay here for a second. Just let that side reach or um, stretch out. And I'll take that elbow and think about pulling it to the back. You should feel that stretch a little different. Like I feel that come more towards my hip flexors when I do this. Good job. Let's just go to our knees and reach up. Really reach back. Now I'm going to take those hands and pull to the side, stretching out those abs and to the other side. Awesome job.